All right, just a quick update on the new fish. As you can see, I still got the Severn, the chocolate cichlid, and only one of the blue Acaras in here. I put the other blue Acara in a two-gallon tank because he had bad fin and tail rot, and I didn't want it to get in this tank. All right, here's the scoop on what I had to do with these fish. They're so they had so many different ailments. It's ridiculous. When I first got them, I noticed fin and tail rot on the uh, one blue Acara. No big deal. Like I said, separated him, put him in a separate tank, and I'm treating him with a can of myosin. Okay, everybody was treated almost two weeks ago, I guess when I first got them, with a Levamacil. I do that with all my new fish. It's a wormer. And I uh, treat them, then in two weeks you got to do it again. So this week I'll be doing, uh, I guess, it again on these guys. Okay, I've been doing that. That's the first treatment. They've been eating good, doing good. And then I noticed just the other day, I'm like, what the heck's going on? I see all white spots on this guy here and on this one. And that was about the 12th day since I got them. It looked like they just broke out with ick. So I'm like, you got to be kidding me. So I'm treating them right now. This is the third day, actually going on the fourth day. And it cleared up. It's funny. It cleared up literally. I put it in like at night and I woke up and they were 90% gone. So, I may have got lucky, but I'm still continuing the medication. And then, uh, also, the first week, I guess, after the water change of using the Vamacil, I put Praziquental in here just to make sure I get all the different kind of parasites before I put them in my uh, Waru Severn tank over here. Because I don't want to introduce anything into there. These guys have been treated for all that. So, I had the Prozzy Quintal in there for about, I'm going to say, four days. So, that's just about over. And then, uh, because this guy got a lot of ick on his fins... It looked like they got all frayed and like white, like uh, something going on, like fin rot on it. So I've been treating him with medicated food. Well, actually, they all eat it with the can of myosin. And it looks like after a couple days, it's clearing up. So these guys look pretty much, if the ick don't come back, which I don't think it will because I'm putting the uh, medication in the water daily. They look like they're good to go. I just got to do the one more. They say after two weeks or three weeks, the Lovama Soul Wormer. That's all I got to do in this tank. And these guys should be good. But it's just a joke. Every time I buy fish from these two stores in there, and it's funny, you go to the box stores like Petco and PetSmart, I don't get this. And everyone, don't go there, the fish are bad. They look like they get the common type of fish. And they're probably not so much from the wild. They probably breed them. And I never had a problem with any of that. It looks like the two good stores where you pay more money for their fish. And especially the guy where I get the piranha. And he has all like the big predatory fish. He gets it all from the wild obviously. And it looks like all their fish are sick. And have something. And obviously every time I buy them they got something. And the same goes for the other store that I go to. It's ridiculous. It looks like you're paying more and their fish are unhealthy. I don't know if they're just buying them at cheap prices from like uh, the wholesalers just to save money lately. But in the last I'd say two years it looks like almost impossible to buy a healthy fish from them. So... At this point, I'm going to treat these guys. I'm going to wait. And if they're good, I'm going to put them in with the big fish. That probably won't be for a few more weeks. If they're, like I said, don't come down with anything else. And then I'm going to try to put something in this tank. Because 
I don't think I'm going to leave it bare. That would be stupid. Maybe I'll, I was thinking of trying some angel fish. I'll see. But I hate to get them because in my area, you know, you'll be getting them. And they'll be full of who knows what diseases. It's crazy. But that's what I'm thinking. I'll see. We'll have to see. This guy's turning out nice. And he's small, so he's going to get more colorful, you would think. They say they're not aggressive, but I kind of disagree. They aren't when they're like this, like right now, but when you feed them, forget it. Then he becomes like aggressive and chases everyone away. But I don't see any damage on any of the other fish, so he's good, I guess. And when I put him in the big tank, he'll be the little guy in there, so he'll be all right. And then I got this one. I think I, let me see. I just got it in a little, I don't even know if you're going to see it, a little night light on the top. Yeah, you're not going to see it unless I bump up the ISO for you guys. Just like that, and it's probably grainy as anything. I don't know if you're even going to see it. He has all like his dorsal fins and stuff, his tail. There's raw on it. And his stomach is a little sucked up and they're funny. I think my pet store got these fish. The two blue acaras from like a, a local guy that breeds them. And I think the local guy was feeding them like uh, blood worms and like maybe the brine shrimp. And they're used to eating like real food. So I throw pellets in there and they don't eat it. And I don't think they have parasites. You can see his stomach's a little sucked up. I think they're just not eating good. I tried pellets and flake food they may take a little bit. But I'll tell you what. As soon as I throw in like blood worms. The frozen ones. They eat them like crazy. So I think it's just a matter of weaning them over. I'd say he's about 2 inches. Maybe 2 and a quarter long. Who knows. But his stomach you can see it has that little like sucked up look to it. But, like I said, I treated him for all this stuff, so he should be good to go. And the other guy, too. This one, really, is the one with the sucked-up stomach. And this other guy over here. Now, I'm going to have to bump down the ISO, because you're going to blind you. <laughs> this other guy in this tank looks pretty fat. He don't look like he has it. Come on, move so we can see your gut. See, he looks kind of normal. Well, for me, he's a little thin, but that's because I just got him. But he looks kind of normal, so I don't know. But I'll tell you guys, I hate buying new fish. I see all you guys buying them and not having problems. I guess it's just my area. It's that bad. They must be getting them from a place that's like dirty and the heck knows. But it just sucks. But everything so far looks like it's working out, so we'll see. I got, a, well, like I said, that one more Levamisol treatment to do in a few days. They say just in case any of the worms could have survived the first treatment, to do another one in two to three weeks just as a precautionary thing. So that's where we're at now. And I'll leave you with this beauty.